Hey you guys, we're gonna add three fractions together. It's probably your favorite thing to do. And we're gonna actually show you two different ways you could go about doing it, all right? So this first one, we are adding one, well, they're the same, but one tenth plus one sixth plus one half. For this one, my strategy is going to be to get all the denominators the same up front, okay? So when I look at 10, six, and two, I wanna think of the lowest number that they all go into. So when I think about it for a minute, I figure out the lowest number they all go into is 30, okay? So I want to make three new fractions that we are adding together that all have a denominator of 30. But the catch is this fraction needs to be equal to this one, this one to this one, right? I can't just make up new fractions. <laughs> so to get 10 to be 30, what did I do? I multiplied by 3 right? Now, if I multiply the bottom by three, I need to also multiply the top by three. So three times one is three. Now, why can I do that? Because three over three simplifies down to one. So I'm really just multiplying by one. It's just a weird looking one, right? So if I were to simplify three over 30, it would be the same as one over 10. Okay. Now, what about one sixth? What did I multiply six by to get 30? I multiplied it by five. If I multiply the bottom by five to keep my fraction the same, I need to also multiply the top. So one times five gives me five, okay? So this fraction and this fraction are equal. They just look a little different, okay? Now two times 15 would give me that 30. If I multiply the bottom, I got to multiply the top. So I end up with 15 out of 30. Okay. Now that the denominators are all the same, when I add them, the denominator stays 30, right? That's why it needed to be the same. That was the whole point. All right. Then I add the numerator. So three plus five plus 15 gives me 23. Okay. Now we always wanna make sure it doesn't simplify and this is as simplified as this one goes. So that is my answer. All right, but you might be asking, math lady, is there a simpler way? Well, there kind of is. <laughs> is that a good answer? You're basically doing the same thing, but it's a little different, okay? You might like it better. So we're adding the same fractions. But first, I'm just gonna focus on these guys first. I'm gonna add them together and then we'll worry about this guy, okay? So if I were just adding one sixth and one half, I'd ask myself, well, what's the smallest number they both go into? Well, it's six, right? So that means this guy doesn't have to change at all. So I'm gonna keep that one, one sixth. And then we're going to add a fraction that is equal to one half, but also has a denominator of six. I'm gonna put parentheses around this to remember working with this first. So to get six on the bottom, I would multiply by three, but just like over here, if I multiply the bottom, I gotta multiply the top. So one times three gives me three. So I have three sixths. Sixths is so hard to say, try it right now. I'll wait. It was hard, right? All right, so three sixths. Oh my gosh. Okay. So now I'm going to add those together. So I have one plus three on top, which would give me four. And my denominator stays the same, which is six. Okay. So that was this group. The one sixth plus one half equals four sixths. Now you might be thinking that simplifies down. It does, but we're not going to take the time to simplify it down right this moment. All right. So here's my four sixths. Here's the one tenth. I still need to add that one tenth. Now I said we weren't going to simplify it down right now. If you did, that's totally fine. You're going to end up with the same answer. Okay. All right. But now I'm looking at it and I need my denominators to be the same again. So what is the smallest number that they both go into? Well, again, it's 30. Okay. So I want two fractions we're adding together that their denominators are 30. All right, so this one I would times by three on the bottom. If I do it on bottom, I gotta do it on top. This one I would times by five. If I do it on bottom, I gotta do it on top. 
So I end up with 20 thirtieths here plus 3 thirtieths. Guess what? When I add those together, I get 23 thirtieths. That doesn't simplify. So there we go. Okay. I see that this one has more writing than this one. So <laughs> it might not seem faster. Anyways, the good thing is you can pick which way you like better and go with it. All right. Hope this helped. Thanks.